Guess who has decided oh to come goodness. all the way over to Perth from Queensland and give us two days' notice? <laughs> <laughs> and they've also decided to gate crash our podcast. Oh my God. <laughs> Everybody, I would like to introduce you to my parents. Amanda and David. Hi. Yay! Yay. <laughs> you know the button. Yay. Welcome to the podcast. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> Uh, did you pre-test that that was the applause? You just remember no, I just remembered applause. yellow is applause. Oh, good work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm officially an, a professional podcaster. Yeah, because ah. to be honest, I usually kind of sit down before and work out a little bit of the podcast and I don't know what's happening in this episode. I've kind of given <laughs> Jess the reins. <laughs> oh no, we've learned this. Never give me the reins to anything, Stephen. <laughs> But um, there's uh, been a little bit of house renovations in our house. I think Jessica walked into our bathroom and um, you were painting. (laughs) (laughs) What happened, Amanda? What was happening? I saw a mark on the bathroom wall and I said to Jess, this is not good enough. (laughs) So we got paint, but the paint wasn't the right paint, but I didn't see that. (laughs) The issue is mum didn't even ask me. She was like, oh, I want to paint this bit. I'm like, yeah, sure, that sounds good. Didn't even give her what to do. I walk in, there she is with paint, painting my wall. I'm like, Mum, you painted the whole area a different colour. So I had to go in there and repaint the entire wall. But I said, if you looked at it in a certain way, it looked all right. (laughs) And then then my dad, he decided that I needed to clean my washing machine because I told him I didn't know how. Half an hour later, I come into the laundry. There's suds everywhere going into my bathroom. No, But let's just say I have a very Very clean clean washing machine. machine. So thank you. No, but to be honest, (laughs) since my parents have been here, they have been renovating the place. And thank you so much because they have found, I guess, maybe when the builders built this house, what, is it five years old? This house, maybe five, six years old, yeah. Definitely the previous owners decided to pay, you know, for the cheap builders and then go, you know what, we can do this ourselves. And, of course, Steve and I didn't know what we were looking for. (laughs) So mum and dad come and they're like, is your (laughs) – the decking on your shed, like, rotting? And I was like, oh, it is. So dad, like, um, re-decked my whole shed. No, it's been really good having you guys. Oh, it's what's even? Apart. I know he even I took a piece it was of termites, this. But it wasn't termites. It wasn't it was termites. Wood it was wood oh, rot. Good. <laughs> but he even pulled a piece of this wood out that had been outside, and he realised a part of the decking had been held together with a drill bit that broke off when the guy was building the the decking. So thanks, Dad. Yep. Appreciate it's all fixed it. Now it looks really good. Thank you. That's but in all seriousness, it's been good having you guys here. I think Hunter's enjoyed the little surprise. Oh, Hunter boo. Mm. Yes. yes. I think yeah, she. What, we, we missed our baby. <laughs> yes, because uh, what was the story on how you well, guys booked last-minute flights? Yes. What happened there? We were watching a Christmas vlog, and we thought, we've got to see these people. We've got to see this baby. And I'm there <laughs> saying, David, halfway through the vlog, stop, get on the phone, book some flights, we're going. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, Don't we have two dogs. I said, Eliza, <laughs> whether you like it or not, you're getting the dog. <laughs> <laughs> so this is why... Initially, we went to Cairns, you see, because my sister has two dogs, my dad has two dogs. So I thought, you know what, we'll come see you so you don't need to worry about where these four dogs are going to (laughs) live. But they watched the Christmas vlog and they thought, you know what, we need to come. So they booked the flight before even calling me (laughs) and then after they booked the flight... (laughs) They called me oh, and said, no. oh, we're coming in two days. <laughs> Jake and tells me you went running around the house with joy because you were coming, so don't you tell yes, me. Yes, oh, we were yes. excited. Oh, and then we had to work out how to fit all these people in the house. Uh-huh. So we went and borrowed a mattress, <laughs> stuck it on the top of a car, got Jake sleeping in Hunter's room. Hunter's been sleeping in our room. You've been sleeping in the guest room and loving it. Loving yep. every minute oh. of it. And we I'm came glad. in on New Year's Day too, which is amazing. Yes, they came in on New Year's <laughs> Day. Yes, which um, oh, yeah. filming this we are filming this podcast a little bit earlier because you guys leave home tomorrow so we are filming this on the 9th of january we really wanted to get you guys on the podcast that's why by the time you guys see this they'll be long gone but thank goodness you came on the first of january because 
Mm. As of right now, 9th of January, the borders are closed again. So Hunter couldn't meet you guys because our borders were closed for six months. And then we managed to smidgen in there and see you guys. (laughs) And now they're shut again. Luckily, they're letting them back in. Yes. So they can go home. (laughs) You just can't come back again. So we're like, oh, well, one visit. Yeah, Yeah, I wonder when will be the next time we'll see you guys because I don't know what's happening with these borders. I don't know. But luckily, they came on the 1st of January because if they came on the 2nd, right now, we would have to be in quarantine. Quarantine, getting COVID tests on Monday, but oh because they God. came the day before, oh, yeah. they don't have to. So lucky. So yeah. lucky. You Very probably lucky. wouldn't be here, Cleo, yeah. because I don't think we would have been able to see you. We would have had to pause the van. I don't even know when you guys would be allowed to fly back to Queensland. We'd have a change of flights. <laughs> uh, yeah. <No. laughs> yeah, yes, but um, Cleo. <laughs> Yeah. That's what we've been up to. What have you been up to? I know it's only been a few days since we filmed <laughs> yeah. the last podcast. Well, the podcast. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> That's we've just been having a big up. podcast week. Yeah. 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 I suppose this is what it would feel like if we filmed a, a yeah. weekly podcast, but, yeah. you know. It's good we do it every two every weeks. Yeah. With a baby, couldn't do it every week. Yeah. <laughs> is Hunter asleep? Hunter's asleep. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and welcome to the, um, the brand new podcast room because we could all not fit in. <laughs> To my little office. We have problem when it's just three of us, let alone five of us. But I think we need to go to everyone's favourite part of the day. Mm. Oh. Oh. Who's ready for a Beveragino? Oh. Beveragino, <laughs> Jazz. <laughs> so I think there's 22 flavours and we're trying to make our way through all the flavours. And, and can you guess what flavour we've got just for you two today? Oh, ginger beer. Mm. Oh, they get <laughs> What's your favourite? Ginger beer diet. That's no, no, exactly. My, yeah. exactly. No my, chance. My parents are the one people that like diet I ginger know. beer. I love diet. Well, that's a nice yeah. SQ there, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I was wondering when we were going to. Jess, do you mind please giving me a bit of a hand? Yes. Yeah. Where all my diet ginger beer went? No, we went and bought <laughs> some oh, new ones. We've not attacked your stash of diet ginger beer. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying that the reason you drink a nice cold Bundaberg is for that sugar yeah. here. And today there's gonna to definitely be a lack of sugar in this podcast. It'll be a chemical hit. Let's just have a look. Would a be. chemical hit. <laughs> <laughs> here you go, Cleo. I Kimo. guess it's the New Kimo. Year's resolution, no sugar. Exactly. <laughs> Start of the New Year's right. I actually want to Google this, but it's probably bad. How much sugar is in Bundaberg ginger oh, beer? Maybe you're gonna go. you're gonna convert us into diet as well. Yeah, now. I think so. Probably. So let's have but, a quick Google. But sugar is good for you because that's where we come from. <laughs> we come from sugar. <laughs> 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 uh, we come from cans because that's where they grow all the sugar. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so it, uh, <laughs> we learned something today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason why ginger beer is my favourite drink is because it has so much sugar. Does anyone want to guess how much is in a normal ginger Probably beer? 10%, 20%. Oh. Well, are we talking teaspoons? Oh. We're talking teaspoons. Oh. I'm guessing seven teaspoons. I, uh, I reckon oh, 17. 20. I reckon you think 17 I teaspoons? 20. I think I'm never going to yeah. have one again if there's 22 <laughs> teaspoons. There is 10 teaspoons oh. in a normal Bundaberg ginger beer, and Solo is the worst as 17. Oh, my favourite. Wow. Solo no is so my favourite. <laughs> but anyway. What All right, let's do a good old pop. Are we ready? ready? This is oh, 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 we learned. Whoa, 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 whoa. We learned you first tip it upside down <laughs> to get all the sugars going, but <laughs> this <laughs> may be. Yes. All right. All right. Let's Three, one, two, two, one. Ooh. Oh, dear. Oh, no, oh, I can't. Oh, yep. whoops, mine went can't. all over Steve, the Steve, help me. Oh, oh, I'll swap that you. That's me. <laughs> yes, this is a total <laughs> fail. Right, uh, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers, cheers to me, my and Granddaddo yeah. on the oh. podcast. Cheers. Oh, oh, can't reach. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a bit of a squeeze on our dining room table. Apologies. <laughs> Definitely tastes like diet, just saying. Oh, that's actually all right. Good don't, on you, Cleo. Cleo, don't go to the dark side. Please go to the dark side. The ginger is what you want. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But a little bit of housekeeping this week. We have put out our – well, the van is back in full swing because if you listen to the last episode, it's been a bit of a slow start, but we went full-blown into the van – and something extra special happened during this week as well, Jess. It was the first time I ever left Hunter alone for an entire day. Mima and Granddad were on duty. Mima. 
Oh. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm Dad did have a midday nap, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> a baby tires you out. Now you see how hard it Well, actually, you've oh. had four kids. You know exactly how it is. <laughs> and I'm 60 now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but I went out all day working on the van. It was my first full day. Got my. I wanted to get my hands dirty, and I did because I insulated the van. Yes. We've got all our wires in. We've got our... What's it called? Our plumbing things in? I sound very professional. Right plumbing's, now. <laughs> plumbing's not in yet. We've what are those little things that are in there? It, it looks like plumbing, but it's electrical wires. I know nothing, by the way. I'm 30. I know nothing about electricity and all this stuff. <laughs> but, but you learn learned so much. So good old Andy. <laughs> so for the 12 volt, which charges your phone, much less power, you can just put the, the wires as is. But for 240 volt, because it's so much power, you right. need to put it in a thing called concrete, which is like a, a pipe. <laughs> I've been enjoying it so much, Sue. That's why it looked like plumbing because it looks like a plumbing pipe, but there is electrical wire in there so we can plug our laptop in. I (laughs) see. So that means that because we've done all that, that next week is an exciting one because we are officially putting the walls and the roof or the ceiling in our van. So that's going to be cool because it's actually going to start really coming together and we're going to be able to picture it as rather a cargo van. We're actually really going to see it as a house. A tiny house on wheels. Yes, it's going to be beautiful. Cool. But and shouldn't we get back to what a great babysitter I was? Oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing Sorry. babysitter. Mentioned it I haven't time. even had a whole day with Hunter I... on my own. I need this. It went Actually really, clear. really well yeah. until the end. And well, I yes, you are. <laughs> my baby is crying. Oh, no. Well, the reason that is, is Hunter had the best day ever. Five minutes before I come home, Dad decided to do the biggest sneeze that this house has ever heard. And Hunter, poor little Hunter, was terrified. And it had to be five minutes before I came home. So, of course, Mum's there being like, if Jess walks in right now to Hunter bawling, and she's not really much of a crier. No. So, when she cries, it would be a big thing. So, imagine if I'd come in at that moment. Luckily, Mum had just calmed her down. Oh. You could have got away with it and not yeah. told me. Oh, we had to Instead, I know like, now you traumatized I my baby. Because <laughs> 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 oh, there's like there's security cameras, cameras outside. Everywhere in this place. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a baby cam. Everyone has one. <laughs> but they're baby cam. Baby cam Your outside. baby is crying. Oh my god. <laughs> my and phone. It's a voice. Oh, sorry, a voice comes out <laughs> telling me. Why don't you do this, Mum? <laughs> okay, let's just say I wasn't the best at leaving Hunter because Stephen's also installed some sort of Google thing where you can do broadcasts from outside. So they're hearing my voice going, Mum, I think she's hungry now. <laughs> and then also my phone alerts if she's crying in the room. So I see Hunter's crying and I'm like, Mum, what are you doing? Okay, I'm bad. I'm sorry. But the phone said she was crying and all she was doing was doing little talks. Like, ah. Yes, I know. That's why I could check and have a little looky. It's, it's not like she's crying. It's a death. Decibel checker. So if it goes yeah. over eighty six, it does a little notification. We should That's see the what de- reason. we should see what decibel came up when Dad sneezed. Oh, yes. I think the microphone broke. Poor little baby was down on the floor looking up. Oh, Granddad. <laughs> coming, Poor coming Hunter. into Perth is so dry and I get yeah. um, hay fever. Oh, oh, no. That's Excuses. someone that lives in the tropics and coming I to sneeze. a normal Here we go. That's why we went to Cairns. Yeah, where I live, it's so <laughs> nice. <laughs> no one sneezes there. No. I mean, does a dad really sneeze if it doesn't sound like a volcano is erupting? True, true. I think every person can attest to that. Yeah. <laughs> And I times. did a really good job. Three times. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Speaking of um, babysitting, I mean, maybe one time this week if you like, Cleo. Ah, yes, please. I'll, I'll be, be watching. She will be. <laughs> <laughs> no sneezing, I'll need it, though. <laughs> Sneezes left at the door. <laughs> but that would actually be great, Cleo. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to, to, please. Blow my nose. When we told everyone you we were having you guys on the show, they sent a bunch of questions in. Oh and because you are the parents of Jess, they sent it to Jess. <laughs> Clear what happened on the last podcast episode when Jess got questions. I forgot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> well, what actually happened, Clear? Let's see if she remembers. Um, 2021. Yeah, but the question is, <laughs> oh, the question. <laughs> Stephen gave me one job. It was to look after the questions. Oh. I didn't do a very good job, oh. but this time I was like, okay, okay, Stephen, you can trust me this time. And guess what? Really I've got tell. questions. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but I think before we jump into the questions, is that okay? If before we jump into the questions, um, I think we need to know a little bit about you guys. When did you meet? A lot of people wanted to know, when did you Ooh. meet? Um, at uh, my, my wife's school reunion. 
Yeah, yeah so it was my mum's school reunion. And what were you doing there, Dad? I was catering at the um, golf club at Katoomba. And I, that means that the food must have been pretty good. Yeah, if mum came out food. going, who's the chef of this? <laughs> 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 who's cooked these party pies? Because these are delicious. <laughs> Did you say compliments to the chef and Not want to speak all. to the chef? No. Nope. Chicken schnitzel. Oh, it's chicken schnitzel. Chicken schnitzel. Hey, she loves a good chicken schnitzel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, top of the list, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So you yeah. guys met in, in school and then... Not at school. Not no. at, school. at the reunion. No. School reunion. No. No. We went to school together, but we didn't know each other. This is where it hit off. She finally tasted the dish. I was in the (laughs) smart girls classes and he was... (laughs) (laughs) Dad! (laughs) But when we we met at at Katoomba Golf Club, we um, had a disco one. In those days, disco disco, baby. (laughs) Yeah, you were at the disco. We uh, joined our hands together dancing and I said, I love you straight away. (laughs) Oh, that's so oh, that's cute. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. You were hooked. And, <laughs> and she melted in my hand. Oh, oh no. my goodness. <laughs> Dad knows what's up. And Aww. then two years later you were married? Roughly. Is that right? No, 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 no. Quicker than that. Later, a oh, a year later. Uh, no, then we, talk, we caught a taxi home. Shut oh. up. <laughs> 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 we're really getting an inside scoop here. So when people asked us how you met, I think all they wanted to know is just, you know, <laughs> they didn't want to know too much detail. David's gone into all the details. <laughs> I think mum's oh, completely oh, regretting this. No, no, no. <laughs> Keep going. The, the, taxi, the taxi parked. Uh, near a ledge where, where there was I a gutter, had a few and when and when <laughs> <laughs> when Mima got out of the ca- got out of the taxi, she fell into I the fell gutter. In- <laughs> <laughs> so yes. she fell in love with you. Then she David. fell in love with you. And me. David said to the Literally. taxi driver, <laughs> "What did you say, to the taxi driver?" Oh, I don't know. You said she's always like this. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh, that's met her. so good. Oh, that was our first night. And then, a, oh, and then a year later, <laughs> they were married. And what's really cool is I only realised this after Hunter was born. I was filling out Hunter's, what is it, like Medicare card or something. And I was having a look at my birth certificate. And on my birth certificate, it says where you two got married. And it was a place called Hunter's Hill. Hunter's Hill. Hunter's oh, Hill. Wow. How cool is that? Is you telling so me that? Cool. I have no idea. I think that's I'm really pretty. cool. A little a, fun a fact rest- there. Guess what the restaurant's name was? Uh-huh. What was the restaurant? <laughs> Do you know Alexander's? Alexander. Oh, oh my gosh! Which is my little name. Alexander Parry. It was Boom meant to bang. be. Boom bang. <laughs> wow, that's so cool! What a yeah. coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a top restaurant in the Hunters Hill as well at the time. Oh. Watch out. Watch out. Let's Alexander's? look it up. Yeah, Let's have a little look. Yeah. Alexander's Hunters Hill. Yeah. Let's look at the Google reviews. Okay, and I'll say one Let's time see. they had this gorgeous wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's it's see if it's still, still around. Yeah, it was number one back, oh. uh, back then. Do you reckon it would have been called like Alexander's, <laughs> Alexander's Restaurant? Yeah. Hunters Hill, it, was called. it was the best restaurant in Hunters Hill. <laughs> said that a few times. Can I, I just say that I feel like it's it's might have gone out of business. It was a long time. <laughs> oh, everyone Google. might want to know how long have you been married for? How old are you? Thirty-two years. Thirty-two <laughs> years. That's a long. Wow. So where did long. you guys have your honeymoon then? We went to Bali. Oh, oh nice. which was very cool back then. People didn't really do that, and we went to Bali. Yeah, we, we flew from uh, Sydney to Bali and stayed at Noona Beach. But hotel resort. But wasn't oh, it your you still first? Remember it. That's yeah, cute. yeah, you're remembering a lot, Dad. But what about in the morning? Um, oh, do we want to know this story? <laughs> <laughs> they definitely overshare. In the morning we overslept. And so we oh, had to, to go to the flight. We had to run to the flight. Remember yeah, that? They had to hold so the flight dramatic. for us. They had to hold the plane. And David had a pair of scissors. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Right? And they said, what do you need this for? And he said, cut my beard. Cut my beard. And did, what did they do and with it? Said, How are you go- it How long are you me. going for? He said, oh, you know. 10 days, he said, oh, just let it grow a bit. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> and wasn't this the first flight you've ever been on, Dad? Yep. Yeah. So he was 28, yeah, and, and first a, flight. And Amanda bought me a little aeroplane. Necklace. Yeah. Silver. Yeah. yeah. You still got oh. that. That's so cool. Yeah, because you were nervous, weren't you, to fly? Yeah. yeah. And we flew Garuda Airlines, which in those days, <laughs> oh, my goodness. It was so bad. lucky if they hit the, the land. Then they t- then oh, they my gosh. They, they, they land and they slid off the... Runway into the into the gutter. What? No, oh, but they have done oh, in the past, have. and <gasps> some of them have gone into water because you go into Bali and you fly in and you go and they go and 
we, 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 we did it. We did it. But I suppose Bali in the eighties would be so different. But I mean, even when we went to Bali, we've been a few times because you live in <laughs> Perth, you go to Bali a lot. Yeah. Us going from Bali in two thousand and nine with you, I think, to yeah. us going to Bali just four years later, and it's completely yeah. different. Which is cool because then you got to experience it really when it was more of like an authentic Bali. Yeah. Well, yeah. We gave us a bottle of scotch on the way over in the plane. Really? A whole well, bottle? What yeah. happened? Oh, we're we're so totally in. In. <laughs> you, no I wonder. Guess. So the plane probably did crash, but you have no idea. <laughs> what actually happened I said, oh, well, I'll have a scotch and soda because I, I used to drink scotch and soda. Yeah. And so the little Balinese person on the plane, the little um, the flight the air attendant, hostess, air yeah. hostess, yeah, air hostess back then, she turns up with this full glass of scotch and a glass of soda. So I said, I'm right for the flight. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a good start to the holiday. But they kept probably coming back. Kept coming yeah, back. they kept, kept coming. It up. Oh, wow. I was very right for the flight. <laughs> That's good. I feel like now they really, like, they give you the little Tipsy bottle bitsy. and really watch yeah. what you're having. But and also, really if you were late right. for the flight, they would just leave you. I don't think yeah. they, um, they, don't they, wait. Wait. they wouldn't they wait. wait. They would wait. But we were on a honeymoon thing and they knew. Yes, did you, know? did you tell everyone it was your honeymoon just to yeah. try and see what you could get? <laughs> yeah, I was so keen on each other. Oh. oh, you know what I always remember as well that there was this like little wooden Balinese ish kind of statue in the house. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. And then I went and grabbed it. It was a menu. They stole the menu. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very cool menu, it was a though. Menu, yeah. It was like a wooden menu. And I was oh. like, wait a minute, you didn't buy a nice statue from Bali. You just stole the menu. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been a good restaurant. It was on the beach, wasn't it? Yeah, right on the beach. And the, the water restaurant. came on your feet. It was really yeah. cool. Oh, Oh, that's nice. And they had, like the barbecue so nice. kebab uh, type seafood. Where they were like cooking out on yeah. the, yeah, on and the beach. Near your table mm. and stuff. We should look that's at the menu so cool. and compare the prices back then to yeah. now. Because I'm sure oh. they would have bumped the prices now that all the tourists come, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And this was Sanua Beach, wasn't it? Yeah, Sanua. Yeah. Sanua. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And um, that was the honeymoon section of Bali. And it was, um, what happened is we were given a guide, it was a honeymoon package. Oh, and we nice. were given a guide. We were given a guide who took us all around all these places, which were actually all his relatives' places. Really? So, <laughs> <laughs> we went to a painting place, and yeah. we, we bought we paintings. Bought paintings. And oh, and I remember the paintings. It was paintings. like a huge green painting with birds all over it. And that reminds me of my childhood because it was always like the main centerpiece of every house we were in was <laughs> yeah. this big bird painting. Oh, yeah. that's, oh, that's so cute. Yep. And then we went and saw a lot and of people. And we had didn't silver, we? Uh, like we got. An orchid because we had orchids at our wedding. Page. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Cute. We, we had a silver orchid and then we had something else. And then yeah, we took us to another place to buy something else, but that, that was his uncle's place. Yeah, so <laughs> I was going to say, all his relatives would have been yeah. so happy, going, oh, great, I'm glad you found these guys. But it was really good because they were spread all over the island and we went so you could go all, all over. over the, it was Aww. really, really cool. It really sounds like something that would have happened to you too because every time they go on a trip, <laughs> they make friends with all the locals. I'll <laughs> never forget the first oh. trip that we did with Stephen. We went to Sydney and there was we'd been doing things all together every single day. Oh no. And there was one day we were like, you know what, let's like separate and do your own thing. And then it gets to about six o'clock and I'm like, Where's mum and dad? I call them. They're there going, Oh, we're down at the opera house. We've made friends with these people and we're getting free drinks. You should come on down. I'm like, I remember this yes. story, you telling me we all got free drinks the whole night. Exactly. <laughs> we get there, there are these two people that suddenly know everything about me, because of course that's what we talk about <laughs> to them, is all your all your sure. Uh, children yeah. and everything they do and so we get there and there's drinks flowing the guy I remember he was so drunk he's trying to give me his Ray-Bans yeah. like 300 Ray-Bans <laughs> I'm like who are these great. people and then we didn't want to pay for a taxi home so we all walked home yeah, do you that remember was good. That was and good. we're still friends with them Oh, oh, yeah. oh still friends that's with them. Oh, oh, my gosh. Friends in relation to yeah, like, happy birthday. On Facebook. Okay. So you still <laughs> message <laughs> I love that. And they message us. And yeah, and she's had um, kids since. And stuff. Michelle and... Oh, you know them. Oh, yeah, I love that's it. Cool. That's so cool. Like, even so, they came to Greece for the wedding. And then after the wedding, they're off walking around. They're like, oh, we met this guy and he took us in his house. And we bought trinklets from his living room. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. You just like... And you went to China and you made friends with those two people. Oh, China was the best. I love yeah, China. that's like their favourite place they've been to, right? We went on a really beautiful cruise to China that went all the way up for all the uh, Asian spots all the way up. Yeah. yeah. And, and you said you met like two students? And they we were in Beijing. Yeah, we stayed in Beijing for a week. And we and stayed in one of the, um, the princess's the old the dwellings. Oh, oh wow, wow, that's it was cool. It a hotel that it, they converted it. It was, it was like, wow. a, like a post office for the emperor. Oh, okay, and then they so turned it into a hotel. It turned into a hotel, and we stayed there in old China, and then we went for a walk and <laughs> didn't know where we were going. <laughs> Ended up in, in Tiananmen Square, 
And, and then you're going to tell oh. the tenement stairs story? <laughs> I think we need to because this is the funniest story. So what happened, story. Dad? <laughs> well, walk me through Tenement Square. And, and I was so excited to be there because <laughs> I'm a it. history teacher. Yeah, I was so going to say. in Tenement Square was amazing mm. for me. But it was beautiful. Claire's going to love this story. Except I had, I had, um, must have had something that was bad. Mm. You drank the, the water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we all know what happens and, after that. Yeah, I had to run to the toilet and I couldn't find a toilet. And, but, and someone said, oh, it's just there. So I went into the toilets. But they only have those special Squatty toilets, potties. So Squatty yeah. potties. And one, I slipped, <laughs> and and my foot went into the squatty potty. Oh, <laughs> and meanwhile, I, and I fell over and I had a backpack on. with a backpack on, Cleo. <laughs> and then so I had all this squatty potty all over my back. <laughs> so imagine Mum when Dad walks out with squ- literal squatty potty all I over him. How? And, what did you do? Like, and, then, and, and they had no taps. There's no water oh, to nothing. wash it off. Nothing. Oh and my so I had to God. wipe it with. Cloths and rags and stuff. Whatever you could oh, find, he's trying to... his bag. He got things out of his bag and wiped it but all then up. We walked, sheet, uh, then we, then we kept walking through... Uh, you didn't go home to get a shower? No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> way worse if things need to happen. <laughs> You're probably yeah. walking in one of the most historical spots oh, and there are beautiful. tourists, I'm guessing, everywhere. everywhere. Oh, no, and a, there's this very stinky man walking around. It was a public holiday. It was so busy. Full of bods. Full of bods. Full of bods. But they were beautiful people. Oh. And these two young people uh, adopted us after we bought these oh. tickets. Oh, we went to the zoo, remember? We bought these tickets to go to the zoo, but they had a special pass which you can get onto a boat. We didn't realise the boat was going to go Because river goes to through the zoo. Right. We didn't know where the boat was going to go. It was taking us to Unknown the place. Summer Palace. <laughs> so we ended up in the Summer Palace, and these two people adopted us. And took us around These two the young palace. Chinese guys. Because I remember at the beginning you were thinking, oh, okay, how much money are they going to ask for you? Well, they took us around no. everywhere to really I'm, special places. No. But didn't you think that? And then in the end, all they wanted to was to I practice their that. English. I know. But I that's know. so oh, shows like that's how so nice, cool. right? Yeah. Yeah. They showed them all over yeah, all day, they didn't they? Up, yeah, they took all us up, day. up to the summer palace where you had to walk up a thousand steps and they had this great big Buddha. Got made of gold. That was only for women on the top. I love. Yeah, I know. And then we went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. away from the stinky <laughs> man for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and then this they took us down the, the back of it, and then they had this uh, like a festival on, and they had dancing. Oh, and, it was so and cool. And then I want to tell another thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we were what walking else? Walking through Beijing. This I think this was another day, and we were just walking through, and it was all just like normal city and Beijing people around. And then we went through a gate, and we'd walked into this amazing garden. And it's in the middle of Beijing and there was it, the festival was still going on, I think. And we walked into the garden and there were people doing special dances that represented cultural things, obviously. But it was amazing, wasn't it, mm. that place? It was like walking into paradise out of pretty dodgy spot. Oh, right. Oh. So you're in a dodgy area we're and then you just found this amazing area. place. Yeah. <laughs> and then so what they were doing, the people who were taking us around was watching everybody behind us to make sure that they weren't going to steal anything from it. Oh, so we were actually being looked after by these two yeah. young kids, oh. and they took us and took us onto the train and took us back home. Yeah. Oh wow! wow. Otherwise, we would never have known how to get. No, home. We were sort of like no one spoke. Like, no one spoke English. And that's so handy too, because in China they don't have Google Maps, so it's yeah. way harder to get around. Well, that was before really Google Maps. Yeah. So yes, I, googly, I, I, maps. googly maps. Googly maps. <laughs> One of the first questions we had was, "What was Jess like as a child?" Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard this story. <laughs> I don't think we should say. <laughs> <laughs> Let's she just say just I was boisterous. Let's call it yeah, and smart. Boisterous. So she was boisterous, smart, and horrible. <laughs> <laughs> they said I was a very tough child, you were. which is weird because I don't really have memory of it, and I can't picture it. Because oh. I'm just so amazing now. <laughs> it was a lot of work no, to was, get you there. No, it was funny because, well, when they say how I was a very naughty kid, like, you know, I was the kid in the shop where if mum and dad weren't looking, I'm like, bye, and I run and go find lollies, and I was just naughty. And I always heard these stories, and then I was asking Stephen's mum, what was Stephen like as a child? And she was like, oh, he was so good, and just like, you know, that chill kid. And I was like, Please? Bit of a mummy's boy, bit of a yeah. chill I was like, kid. please, can Hunter get ah. more of Stephen's temperament as a child? <laughs> And thankfully, so far, far. she does. She, I don't, like all the stories I hear, I don't see any of that in Hunter yet. And they're looking after Hunter. And I bet you've always thought, when Jess has a kid, she's going to find out exactly (laughs) what it's like. And there's little Hunter. (laughs) Hunter. But explain a little bit more. What was I like? 
You were very into books. Yeah. You were very into play school and you were very <laughs> into going away. <laughs> going away. You mean away. like running away? Running away. <laughs> I suppose so, that's what her job is right now. We yeah, run away. Yeah. Indeed. So <laughs> we used to sure. have her on a tether. <laughs> <laughs> if mum and dad said literally it's the only way I would stick around. Oh, oh those backpacks with the tethers on them. With, with the dog leashes. She actually had straps. Oh. <laughs> like a dog sort of. Oh, my gosh. No, no, she was very nice. Yeah. And I, I, Dad's I lying. <laughs> Mum no. just looked at Dad like, uh? no. <laughs> no, no, I, I used to pack up a, a trolley yeah. full of um, umbrellas and blankets. And, and bottles. Because Amanda would go to work as a teacher and I would take her to the beach. But this is when I was like a baby yeah. baby, yeah. like the, a little hunter yeah. size. Down, like the, hunter. down the Terrigal Beach and, and we'd take her like a 20-minute walk down to the beach and we'd sit on the beach all day. So Dad had a great time because Dad was the one staying at home looking yeah. after me. Mum's at work and coming back to her. How's your day? Oh, great. <laughs> Mum's just at the I beach having home. some drinks. <laughs> then Mum's like, well, where's but dinner? I feel, <laughs> <it's> fine, baby. <laughs> yeah. I'll fill her up with sugar and she'd be crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, then you'd pass me on to Mum and go, there you go. Yeah. Happy days. And then when you got older, David would go to work. Yes. And I would have night duty. How was kids. the night duty? Well, I had more kids by then. Yes, so if you weren't aware, um, I'm one of four. So they, and it was so funny as well because initially mum said she never wanted kids. Never wanted children. And here she is with four kids and I asked her, what did her friends think? They must have been shocked. They were shocked and yeah. shocked and shocked. But oh. it was David saying it'll be all right. It's because he had me. must have catered that party so good. (laughs) (laughs) Never wanted kids. Now here you are with four kids. Still chill. We had to have another one after you to make sure that they were better. (laughs) (laughs) And it was lucky because you got Jake, who's the most docile person ever. (laughs) Just chill out. (laughs) Mum said back in the day when Jake would go to sleep, so I'm like, what, two and a half and Jake's a baby. If he's there sleeping, I'll sneak into the room and poke him till he woke back up and then run back out and go, Poke him, you bash under the car. <laughs> I can't just, I can't picture it. Yeah. We got you a boy doll because they suggested that you have a boy doll for you before Jake they knew came. What you were like, and they yeah. said get a boy doll. So what you would do with the boy doll is get it and bash it on the floor. <laughs> it's cr- I, I cannot imagine Jess I doing know. this. She is horrific. <laughs> Mom, you know, so the reason Mum says I was this is Mum's theory of why I was such a naughty little kid. She said it's because she had a very quite a dramatic birth. So she said that I was just angry about the way I came into the world. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. But we won't talk about no, we won't. No, 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 it's not a birthing podcast. No, 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 no. no. But when we fast forward to about 10 years later, you guys did quite the adventure because you moved from Sydney and you drove all the way to Perth with four, four kids. Children. So you had, what, one a 10? You're one and up, and I was the oldest at 10. That's crazy. And it took no, you six nine? weeks? Nine. Yeah, around no. nine. Yep. Took you six weeks to get over here. What yep. was that like? Travelling with, we, we were all in one wow. van. And we, yeah, a, one van and a trailer, and a massive trailer with the what was it? It was overloaded. So. It was oh. so full. So either they got a trailer, filled it with stuff, and just put a big blue tarp over it and tied it around with string. That's basically <laughs> what we had with rope. <laughs> and then we had our big van with the six of us to squeeze in. We just go from caravan park to caravan park. We'd only travel for like um, we had it all booked. Two hours or so and then stop. So it was like a holiday for you all. Oh, so that Yeah, worked. that's good. And the best, I think, when you tell me about it is how you took it slow yeah. and, and took, took it like yeah, a fa- and, as a big holiday. we took some photos and the kids were all – one was sticking their head out that way, the other one was sticking their head out that way and, and all the blankets would be stuck in between each other. Yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's the thing. It be, wasn't just all in the trailer we in the back. We all had stuff. So we had a, yeah. had a <laughs> <laughs> This is true. But we could only – Travel at 80 kilometres an hour. Yeah. Yes, so it would have taken you even longer. It took yeah. us forever to get to the WA. But it was really, I mean, it was a really good trip. Well, and one you of my would have had like the big Gregory's. Memory. They wouldn't have been Google oh, Maps no, back we then. We just had a big map. Yeah. Oh. A map of when yeah. we got over the border. Oh, we were so glad to get over the border when we came from South Australia into Western Australia because they were wanting us to undo the trailer <gasps> so they no could look way. at the done it. But luckily they found a fruit box in the car and she said, oh, good, I'll take that. And so that, like a box that had, had, had fruit, fruit in it. And um, oh, we were so lucky. Because that would have been so annoying having to unrope it all, imagine. And we had, couldn't have done free, it. We said to him, we can't undo this. Had, had 
everything in there. And that means you're able to balance. smuggle everything yeah. in. So you <laughs> well, actually <laughs> smuggle all the kids in. But my, um, my most, like, memory from it was that Jake and I would sit in the back and we always wished we had cameras, but we didn't have them. So we had tic-tac boxes yeah. and we would look outside and see what we could see and we would draw it, put it in the tic-tac box, then go click and then open it up and go, oh, look at the picture that I took. <laughs> oh, that's This yeah, is what so we all did cute. before mobile phones uh, and yeah. Game Boys. Uh, um, <clears throat> Mum and Dad did get Jake and I a Game Boy Colour. It was very exciting. Pokemon when he there? went to the shop, Dad said, Dad, David said, can I, can I get you, um, uh, have you got any Playboys? <laughs> <laughs> what he said. Oh, that was so good. Go. And what did they say back? Do you remember? They said, here's a Game Boy. Oh, they did. <laughs> they said, wipe this way, sir. <laughs> 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 oh, it was for the kids, I said. Oh, <laughs> and there's these little faces. But I remember just thinking that's so cool because Drew and Eliza were too little for that. They were like little blobbies yeah. looking out the. Oh, they got little like pop up play things. And right. Eliza was yeah. just and a then, blob. yes, yeah. and Jake and I were in the back. Yeah. Well, poor Eliza. She was a very attractive young baby. <laughs> yeah, she was cutie. Jake she was still cute. Has it. He still has a Game Boy, yeah, and he yeah. still has all the games. Wow. That's I think so this cool. was like our first game thing we ever had. when they first yeah. came out. It was yeah. early, early days. Mm. I mean, that was when was that? But 1999. Yeah. So. And Jake's a hoarder of electrical. Yeah, he's got he everything is. he's ever got. He likes keeping – same as Steven. He loves keeping all the old – Jake keeps yeah. the boxes. Same oh, as Steven. Have, have you, you seen our shed? <laughs> <laughs> he, it's a, it must be like a guy thing with the electricals. No, for me, it's when I want to sell it. You can generally That's get it. more money for it if you have the box. And yeah. we go through new camera gear all the time and, I, yeah. yeah and it's all forgiven, but Jake doesn't have that excuse, does he? <laughs> <laughs> but you guys, you've been travelling for way longer than us. You have at least 30 years' worth of experience over us. Any advice or what it was like travelling? We love cruising. Yep. Yeah, that's like your number one. Yeah. But, but I think we're done with that now. <laughs> 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 but I think it was good because it meant that you didn't need to worry about working out where you were going to stay, how you were mm. going to get there. You just jump on a cruise, it takes you there. Yeah, it does. It's really good. And then you get, you get to get go... And, food and, and, it's all, and it's Yeah, really the food. Nice. Dad and loves the food. Every day you wake up at a yeah. new locale, which exactly. is really cool. Yeah, we yeah. went on the Ruby Princess and we went on the... Uh, that was the one. That was the one. <laughs> that was the but one. It was brand new when we went on. That's how old. It was brand new. <laughs> <laughs> it was when it first came out. We were on the Ruby and then we went on to the Sapphire. And, and the then Diamond. They're big princess and yeah. people. And so I went on a cruise with you and Eliza. Yes, and we did. Eliza. And that was the first time we went on like a girl's trip. And, and we could, went up to Asia. I get my passport. That's it. It was actually meant to be. So technically I wasn't actually invited. <laughs> it was mum, Eliza and dad. Dad couldn't get his passport and I had a passport. So I came along instead. And Eliza was and coming because she was free. <laughs> yes, yes, Eliza was free on the so middle. I took Drew to Bali. You did take Drew to Bali. And I always remember the one story Drew told me is that he went mm-hmm. to Bali. And dad loves food. He's a chef, by the way. And he was in Bali and he was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go buy a fish from the local market. And then he just – who does this? He comes to the hotel, goes into the restaurant and goes, hey, can you cook my fish for me? And wasn't it at like midnight? And then Drew comes out and Dad's there sitting at the restaurant eating like this fish that he had bought and then they no, cooked for you. Cooked oh, you went and cooked oh, it in the restaurant. You went and cooked it in the restaurant. I love that. I went into the kitchen and said, I want to cook my fish. And they said, Okay. <laughs> I love that. And That's so the good. spices are all there. This is what you've got to use. So well, and this is how you guys always have such like the cultural experience because yeah. 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 I would be too nervous to do yeah. that. And then you're there hanging out with the yeah. the chefs at the hotel David using their kitchen cooking up. Kitchen. I love that. And the lady who owned the place was from. From Australia, so yeah. we oh really? I mean, oh, that's cool. There, oh no, you I weren't there, but you've gone really along with the story. You're like, the yes, team. the fish was great. <laughs> 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 you just go along. But yeah, that was the best time because we went out fishing. And we oh, you went them. out fishing. Yeah, we caught the fish. Oh, that's really oh. cool. So we caught the fish. We came, went back to the restaurant, and then asked. I said, "Can I cook the fish?" And I bet you Drew was there going, "Oh my gosh, Dad, don't yeah. ask that." <laughs> so embarrassing. And you did it. Yeah, and then they actually. Uh, Gave us a massage. Apparently, Drew wasn't supposed to get a massage. Oh, he was too young, was he? But he got one anyway. <laughs> There's an age a... limit on massages. I don't, I don't know. know. What type of massage were you getting, Dad? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but that actually reminds me of a story that happened this week, just showing how Dad just he will talk to anyone, and we get like a bit nervous talking to a stranger. I don't know why, but this week. So we have way too many boxes from Christmas. Oh, and then no, <laughs> yes. The, the real recycling people are coming. Yeah. 
And we have I already have been. With you, Cleo. We already have a bin full of boxes, and so they come over and they take it. And then Dad goes, "Oh wait, mate, is it <laughs> right if we throw some more boxes in?" But yeah. Dad thought it had an opening in the back, but it didn't. The opening was really, really tall up. It's so where they the put, arm takes it and throws it. So I, the Mum top. and I are looking outside, and we see them with this big long box full of boxes, trying to lift it up over into the recycling bin, and, the and then we just back. see and the side opens. So we just see the big box starting to tear, and all the boxes inside falling on on Dad and Stephen, and the, the, the guys looking at him like, "I just want to keep doing this." And then Dad just goes, "Don't worry about it," and then he drives off, and there's just it, and there's just cardboard everywhere. I was so embarrassed. I'm so I'm so glad we're moving out of this house when the van comes in. I don't Steven's think I can look my neighbours. Oh, because Stephen's like, no, did I can't talk to you. Can we oh, please? I, that would be so funny. I bet you they did. did the security cameras. Oh, my gosh. We <laughs> have, have to, to look at that. Let's have a look at the cameras good. in this house. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's just a security camera at the front. <laughs> <laughs> we're always watching. Hi, big brother. Have you found the one in the guest room yet? In the toilet? I put I put all the, all the clothes over top of it so you can't. Oh, oh my god, so <laughs> smart! You watch too much Big Brother. <laughs> but Jessica, you have one job. Questions? Did you bring the questions to the podcast? I've got the questions. <laughs> you did it. <clears throat> and you guys, you you haven't seen these questions, have you? Um, he had a smidge. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to say I had my question sitting on the kitchen bench, and then Dad comes up to me and he goes. What's a funny quirk about you, Jess? And I went, <laughs> why are you asking me this? <gasps> That's my first question that someone asked. So we had a little snoop at the first question. <laughs> but I basically asked people on Instagram to give me questions and I've written down the ones that came up a lot that people are wanting to know about two of you. Or the ones mm. you allowed in. Yeah, the ones that I allowed to be asked. But the first one is, is there a funny quirk about me? What's my funny quirk? <laughs> Do I have one? <laughs> I can't say that it's rude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the funny quirk is something they might not know you, about me. You, you laugh all the time. But that's not a quirk. That's a good. I do oh, laugh all the I time. I love how David's trying to do the oh, oh moments. And that's 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 very that's not political. Not a quirk. <laughs> and Mum's here going, I know what I want to say, but I better not say it on the podcast. <laughs> I do laugh a lot. I, I cry do you laugh know a lot. What I think your quirk is is your your determination when you work. Is you work so hard, even from when she was like, uh, you know, when she was twelve years old. She went and uh, when she was twelve years old, David got her a job in a local restaurant, pretending she was fourteen and nine months, which is what it meant to be. Another thing of dad, of course, he would just walk into a random place and go, "Jess, do you want a job? I'll get you a job." Come straight up to the guy. Hey, you're looking for a waitress because my daughter's looking. She's fourteen and nine months. Jess, he luckily looked old then. I looked a bit older, so then they got me the job, and I left. Three years later, and they're like, "Oh, I'd say, and it was my birthday or something." And they're like, "How old are you?" I'm like, "I just turned 15. <laughs> <laughs> but what I mean well, by that working with him—got you really a nice hard. gold gold necklace or something. Yeah, he gave me the earrings. earrings. Yes, when I left, yeah. which was yeah. nice. And he did such good Indian food. We should the have best there. Indian. Food. Yeah, my first ever job was at an Indian restaurant. I was a waitress. And it was such good Indian food. And, yeah. the, ma- and the man's name was Zia. Okay. We okay maybe we should mention it. He was just but, worked but, underage at his restaurant. <laughs> this is and true. He was called the woman. But, the <laughs> old woman yes. told me to do this. His, his wife was a little bit more like, you know, of the strict person. And so yeah. we used to call it the, the woman. You called it the woman. But, you, at that stage, I used to drink and I said, uh, Zia. Oh, my you stop mentioning his name. <laughs> <laughs> the ear with my beer. The ear but I know, with my beer. But I know where you're going, it. Mum. Yeah. Is that like since I was 12, I worked. Yes. yes. And, and I worked all through uni, uni and, and all the time. Heaps of hours. And worked your way yeah. up in places and got the respect yes. yeah. needed. But that's a quirk, yeah. a working quirk. Yeah, you do. Go. You, you're good at finding out how do I become the manager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I worked with this. Jess for like years and she We all so worked good. for Jess. Yeah. You worked for Jess. David, David was worked there. for Jess. Oh. I've been, it's all. your little scheme, Jess. <laughs> yeah. I was their boss. I was, I've been all your bosses one yeah. time. At the coffee She's club. I have to say you were the nicest boss. Oh. Oh, oh, I've had quite a lot. Oh, <laughs> Leo. I wonder why. Leo, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my turn to ask the question. <laughs> I just looked at me like, like what she's a bit overcome. Got, I didn't hang on to the questions the if you like. I have a good question. Yeah. Oh. This is all just about me, like, you know, give me some positivity. Yeah. <laughs> I love when it. When is the most proud you've ever been of Jess? 
when she married Stephen. Oh, oh, that's so cute! And that you guys was the came most out to beautiful that beautiful thing that's happened. Aww. We went to Greece; it was gorgeous, and we were there. Everyone was there, and Jesse looked incredible. Yeah. Proud mother, <coughs> and <coughs> Stephen Sorry, looked all right. <laughs> <laughs> but that would have been my proudest moment. And I was very proud of him too. Oh. And now, and, and, it's I, and I gave fun. Stephen, yeah. I gave Stephen a big hug, and I said, "You better look after my daughter." You did. Oh. I remember, and you lifted and him some up tears in your eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. That kind of um, brought you guys out to Europe because you hadn't been to we Europe hadn't before. Been to Europe. Oh. How no. was that trip? Well, we never thought we'd ever go. It was a great trip, but yeah. luckily we had lots of dosh at the time. <laughs> 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 um, Your super Thompson. came super in. Super thanks to superannuation. Yeah. They're able to get out there. And, and you went and looked made. at, went to London we and Paris and got Germany. Sunburn in London. Got yes, sunburn in London. Because <laughs> we went on the hot bomb bus and then I we went I think on you're the only person to get sunburned in London. Yeah. I was putting yeah. it up. It <laughs> was healing at the wedding. But it was the hottest it was day the... they ever had. Yeah. So it was like 22 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they hit the 30s, I think. Oh. Yeah, my goodness. <laughs> English were all affected. I think it was 35. It's because he was on the big red bus all day. And then we went on the <laughs> boat. Oh, oh yes, you did on the Thames. On the Thames. On the Thames. Yeah, and went and underneath we went all the all the bridges, the London yes. Bridge, and the, and, the, yeah, and it was cool because like you got to do a lot of things you never thought you would do because you went and saw yeah. the Eiffel Tower. Mm. And Did you do Germany? We went to yes, Germany. We went to Berlin. We went to Germany. Berlin. Yep. So you saw we all these things you never would have thought, of. which was great for me to see the wall. And yes. then when we were in in Greece, we stayed after your wedding. We went into Athens and we stayed just you could from the veranda of our um, apartment that we or B and B. Yeah, we could see the Acropolis. That's, that's so cool. Oh, that's 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 like how we stayed there. Well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was, that was the best amazing. Trip ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was. Yeah. it is nice. Yeah, I'm so the glad wedding you guys was nice too. Oh, oh, the yes. wedding was okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <clears throat> so, what did you think? A lot of people ask this. What did you think when Jess told you she was leaving to travel and quitting teaching? Go for it, girl. Yes. And but you I didn't see. really did you understand what YouTube was at the time? Not really. No, <laughs> no you didn't at all. But that's the thing I think is I because did. you were like, oh, okay, so YouTube and then we went over to Hawaii and the first video came out and mum and dad were hooked. <laughs> oh, <laughs> number one that's fans. Cute. They were like, This is so cool, yeah. right? We and told then, everyone, look at this, look at this. And then every single day, because back then we would film a video every day, so you're able to watch exactly what I did yeah. every day while we were away travelling. I remember yeah. when you were in Hawaii you were so excited you found a pineapple. Do you remember that? Yes, yes, we did. We were so excited. I found a pineapple. Yes, that was like, I'm pretty Hawaii, sure. Hawaii, darling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure the name of that vlog was like Pineapple in Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were so good at naming vlogs back then. But then what did you think when we came back after the year and then I still didn't go back to teaching? Because we did so many travels, we got to know a lot of people from overseas and I got their, all their emails address and I, got, I, said, I, I, I spammed them. All your podcasts. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so that's how we got our first subscribers. You d- David <laughs> would, was out there doing the hard work. Oh, that's the so cute, number one. Yeah. But then, what did you think when I um, didn't go back teaching? I thought this no, was a great care. path. I honestly thought this was a great thing for you both to do. Yeah, I remember you guys being very supportive. We were very supportive. Yeah. yeah. Yep, and encouraging, and when Stephen great. won that competition, we were oh, so yes. happy. Oh, wow. I, I did it for you guys. Yeah, it did. Yes. But you showed it on the on the pod, on the podcast about on the on vlog. The, a vlog. I'm sorry, of Stephen winning it. It was so amazing. Oh, no. yes. We were so yeah. proud. Yeah. Yeah, it was We've so always good. been really proud, basically. Oh, thanks, yeah. oh, oh, thanks oh, 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 easy. Oh, <laughs> Back to being just being a brat when she was yeah, a child. Yeah, <laughs> this question is awful. <laughs> Mum, you're gonna have to dig deep for this one. You've, you've made up a lot for it. So go on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Best childhood memory of Jess when she was practically perfect in year eight. You were really good in year eight. You went oh. to high school because when. So you, I think must have been. I may, maybe I went through puberty and it all fixed. Oh, well. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> it was only one year. She was really in great. Right. Right. You were so good in your eight. You started high school and everything was terrific and she worked and she was so sweet. I remember I got straight A's in your eight. I went down to the first the first um, <laughs> semester's uh, results and there's Jesse with his straight A's and everyone's going, oh, oh, oh you're the parent. And mum's loving, loving it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Is, is, that when, <laughs> is that when Stephen came to the door and asked if you can come out and play and I said no and slammed the door? <laughs> <laughs> Year nine. Yeah, that was year nine. nine. And that Stephen was the way my... Oh. And that was the end. Well, that no. was how they met. <laughs> Stephen knocked on the door and went, is Jesse home? You didn't say no. I did. He did. Two. Yeah, he did say no. <laughs> oh, I, I remember walking up. It was, it was on two. Uh, two Constellation.
Celebration the Drive. Yeah, in the and I remember walking up, I've never seen you before in my life. And I knock on the door, which is already so scary. Yeah. And this shirtless man with a VB in his hand says, go away. Slam <laughs> <laughs> the door. And Steve didn't even tell me out. he was coming. Yeah. I think it was at the time someone else liked me or something. And Stephen's like, I'm going to go over to her house and say hi to her. Yeah. This was the four phones and the MSN though. and all that. Who did send your daughter out with three guys? No you way. had friends with you, Steve. No, it was just me. Was it? There was yes. two other people, didn't it? No, that it must, must be a different was time. was so amazing, we thought oh, three yeah, of them. I thought there was three guys. Oh. Well, you had like too many BBs, you no. saw three of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that leads to you this see question. see why I gave up drinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, this leads into this question. What's your, what was your first impression of Stephen? Oh, oh, that is way too it long. It would have been quiet it there. Did. I think as parents, though, you're always extra oh. protective. Well, you didn't even yeah. know. We what was your protective. first impression of Stephen? Um, we were okay. okay. <laughs> we were allowed to be protected. She was gone. Um, I thought he was all right at yeah. the time. We thought you were cute. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose, like... Uh, one kind of cool thing about the vlogs is you would have got to know me a bit more because I suppose yeah. a lot of times with the whole parents meeting the in-laws and all that, it can be I suppose uh, awkward. It can be You don't really see the – you put on a bit of a facade, if you know what I mean, sometimes. But I suppose if you watch the vlogs, you would have watched me grow up with Jessica yeah. when for all these years. When we lived in that years. house that, that was close to you, remember the house? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And – you used, used to, to walk come to the house a lot then. And we used so to we play really games. Got to know you a lot then. Yeah, you actually yeah. would have got to know Stephen because even when the f- last um, Harry Potter book came out, you came with yeah. us at midnight and yeah. we all went and got the book. Yeah, we yeah. used to do things like that. And yeah. yeah, but the thing is with Jess and Stephen is because they've known each other since year nine. We've when when they decided to go out, it was fine because it's like this progressive and of experiences. Yeah. Mm. And I remember when you were new eleven, David said, "I bet you she marries that boy." <gasps> oh, oh, that's cool. That's so cool. And then they had a fight. And then Stephen. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> one time, we were like Lots eighteen, had some drinks, oh. and we had a fight. And then they were shocked. <laughs> no, it wasn't Whoa. the shock. It was the thing is Jesse's out in the street. Okay, so, here we go. They're so, gonna. Say, Harry, come back! (laughs) (laughs) And Stephen's walking off. (laughs) That's so cute. This one, I like. I like Stephen at the time, and I I was upset because Jesse. Was we getting thought upset. it was over. Too. Right. And I said to you, there were other fish in the sea, all that sort of oh. thing. And said, no, no, we're not breaking up, No, because then the next morning it was all fine. Yeah. And I'm like, we're not breaking up, Mum, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. <laughs> next question. <laughs> okay. Not more. What are your favourite things about being grandparents? Oh, my goodness. Because if you have only just been watching this year, I've made them grandparents. Oh, oh. I'm very proud and happy. The best thing for me is I'm making the crocheting the blankets and seeing them on the baby and the baby touching them. That really, really, really excites me. Yeah. (laughs) Not excites me, but makes me feel important to the baby. Yeah. And And she'll keep those forever. I I like her little toes poking through. Yeah, the little fingers. (laughs) Yes. Because me, Ma, was sitting on the lounge and. Really good crocheting is very good for Mima because just yeah. yes, <laughs> Mima loves crocheting. And, well, and she I, does when there's so, a baby in so the yes. line and I ordered in these uh, special tags. Oh, yeah. oh I love yeah. those. And it's called Made by Mima. Love that. Oh, and hand washed only Jess. Jess. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and they're on all the blankets and the little hats and, and they're like labels. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I love that. Cute. I Which, mean, she can't really wear the booties and the hats anymore, but she loves the blankets. Well, I've <laughs> kept them anyway, so she always has them together because, of course, she's already – she's a – Hunter's a big girl. <laughs> and I'm just girl. saying that those <laughs> shoes definitely wouldn't fit those feet anymore. <laughs> and that head is getting quite big. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually had a question from this is, what did it feel like when I called you and told you I was pregnant? Because I didn't tell anyone that we were wanting to have a baby. So were you so mm. shocked? Well, we were happy more than shocked. Mm. We were really happy that that it was going to be. Yeah. yeah. You know? And I was yeah, wondering and we that. couldn't wait. It was really yeah. nice. Yeah. I remember when we told you we got engaged. That oh, was that such was the a best funny story. story. You oh, share that yeah. one, Steve. So this is we got engaged in 2013. This is before Flying the Nest. And um, thankfully, Claire was on the holiday. Classic. Gay Classic. crashes. Gay <laughs> crashes. I'll you always be doing it, though. <laughs> <laughs> so Cleo filmed it for us. And then 
we usually made videos. This was before flying the nest. We made videos of our little trips, and we got back from this big trip. We went to Singapore, Dubai, and Maldives, and we went and showed you guys. We said, "Hey, we've yeah. got a video." Like, and and um, they wouldn't have thought anything of it because we always showed them videos of our yeah. trips. And I think uh, the video is still live. You can actually watch it. I'll link it below. And it starts off with us in the Maldives, and we're walking down, oh, and, then yeah. and then I get down to propose, and. Mima, Amanda jumps up and goes, boom, from excitement. <laughs> and you kick the, the, the movie off because you hit the keyboard. So the movie stopped and they're like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. That's all I remember is you. <laughs> it was so and good. And I jumped on you too. Yeah. yeah so. but I love the way – because I always remember Stephen would always talk about, like, if I was to propose, like, would you want me to ask the parents first? And I was like, I think they would prefer such a good surprise – and so we kept it as a surprise, yeah. which I think was so cool. much more fun. It was. Yeah. It was. Yeah. We'd been waiting for a while. Yeah, and it finally <laughs> happened. It was. Finally, but we'd yeah. been dating, what, seven, seven years, years yeah. by the seven time. Seven years yeah. by then, yeah. We just wanted to finish uni first. Which was yeah. a good idea. Yeah. I was very proud when you, when you finished uni. That was something else too. That oh, proud. thanks. Aww. Yeah, because your first kid going through university. Yeah. 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 So, and Another question which um, I think I might know the answer to this one already. Oh. How similar is Hunter to Jess when she was Hunter's age? She got blue eyes. No, you <laughs> <laughs> Did no, Jess you have blonde hair when she was that age? She was, yeah, yeah. When she was By born, then. she was born with dark hair yeah. and then it grew blonde, so I cut the dark up and I had a blonde baby. Just like what's happening with Hunter. But really exactly. dramatically so because the hair was black and it grew out blonde. Mm. So I, as I say, I just cut the black off. And I was Ta-da. a blonde bubba. No. Yeah. We yeah. did that. We so got amazing. a bit of a black slither in um, Hunter's... My I kept some of her hair when it was still dark, I but think hers was more of a brown. I think yeah. it wouldn't be fair to say you were a horrible little baby because you didn't <laughs> do anything wrong when you were a little baby. But was I, like, sleeping? Oh, you were a great sleeper. Yeah. You didn't sleep too well because I had to sleep in the room and hold her hand. Because <laughs> 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 you'd cry all night otherwise. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't you remember going in there this I had to the hold first. her hand? I'd sleep, <laughs> go to fall, fall asleep on the floor. Aww. And Aww. That's cute. She'd go to sleep. It's Thanks probably the same Dad. sort of thing. Oh, and I was sleeping because I was working so hard. Stephen does the same thing with Hunter, I think. Sometimes. I did do it that one time when she did get her vaccinations and yeah. she was very yeah. upset. So yeah. she needed to fall oh, asleep. That was oh. um, A lot of people had this question, which I'm interested in your answer. What's your advice for a long and happy marriage? Because how long have you guys been married yeah, for? 32 a while? years. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any advice? Years. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Be nice to each other. Yeah, they're no. friends, which is the main thing. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. not just being married, it's being it's friends. Yeah. Being friends and understanding each other too. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's sweet. And that's talking. Good. You've got to talk. Yeah, yeah good talk. communication. Yeah. Communication yeah. and read a lot of books. Yeah. <laughs> oh, read a lot of books. <laughs> to to cut it out. We have a lot in common. We look, you know, like different shows that we like to watch. Oh, together. yeah. Now we do. Yeah. yeah. And we both liked Harry Potter at the time, so we read all the Harry Potter books together. With the children. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Harry Potter brings you together. Oh. Oh. Another Harry excuse Potter. to love Harry Potter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Harry Potter was the best. We had another one. Chef Dad's favourite food to cook. Oh, oh. I just What's realised he goes tomorrow and he never cooked the caramel dumplings oh, for us. Can we have it for lunch tomorrow? Dish. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow for lunch is a goodbye. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll go to the supplies first thing But what in the is your favourite thing to cook? Well, actually, I like cooking a lot of things. No no no, 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 no. We no. need one the, thing. What's your go-to thing you favourite thing to cook? Joy Chinese out. food. Chinese food. Yeah. Oh. I like cooking Chinese food. A lot of stir fry. Yeah. Oh, I like stir fry. And you enjoy eating that too. Yeah, all those sort of things. You should have made us some Chinese food. Sure. I don't think I've ever had had your Chinese food before. No, you haven't. Yeah. We, don't, we only I give it to special people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> and the last question. This one came from Beck and Paul. Oh, oh. Beck and Paul. Oh. Your favourite. My besties. Your besties. They I wanted to that. know what's your favourite video that Stephen and Jess have made. And well, it has to be the Christmas vlog so 2020 because it yeah, made you book a flight. Here. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the Christmas vlog, I suppose. No, yeah. my favourite is Have when you thing. went to... Hawaii with the pineapple. <laughs> 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 when you went to the, the Sound of Music area. Oh, you oh, like that. Salzburg. So when we're in oh, no. Salzburg. And in Russia. See, I could just name a whole lot. I love the seeing of Russia yeah. because yeah. I've never been there and that would be fantastic. We but it was like, because when you go on a video with Jess and and Stephen, it's as though you're there. Yeah. It's as though you're there. So that was really cool. 
But I really love the Sound of Music ones. I Are really they like did. because they're places that you've always wanted to go and then you and kind of went through our videos? Yeah, yeah, and also it's because it was a place that Jess and I both... We do love on. the sound of music. We do love the sound. Oh. Shall we start singing? No. no? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I thought you were about to go. Joe. No, 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 no. I was going to go. Let's start from the very <laughs> beginning. Oh. <laughs> A very Lake, good Lake, place Lake, to start. Lake, okay. Lake Blair was really nice. Oh, oh. Lake Bled. Yes. Oh, where that, they had oh, the Lake that, Bled oh, dessert. That's it. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> and that hotel was fantastic. Yeah, that, that whole trip was nice. But you've yeah. been so many places. I love the ice cream man with the funny In old Turkey. Oh, Turkey. Yeah. Yeah. So this is too tell many. You, like events that I really like rather than yeah. vlogs, old vlogs. Right. You know, so. Like moments that happen. Yes, moments. Yeah. But watching all of them every day, we always hang out for the, when it comes out and then we watch. And David sends it to all the relatives, including your parents. <laughs> <laughs> he makes sure no one misses it. And your mum yeah. says, we already have what? this. <laughs> We've watched it like that. And I love it as well because they, they – <laughs> when a video while they're waiting for the new one to come out, they rewatch the same one yeah, over, over and over again. Oh, we've watched them so many times. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh cute. Cute. But love. the birth That's video, the birth, I think oh. maybe the birth video, yeah. because of course Jesse was the most glamorous looking person having the baby. She did look beautiful <laughs> having <laughs> the baby. She did. Yes. Yeah. You did. You were like, just <laughs> calm. I just can't believe it. I'm part. ready to get. <laughs> I have a baby now just from watching you. <laughs> <laughs> believe you me, it wasn't yeah. that easy. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it is. <laughs> it was good. Just yeah. maybe the last ten minutes. Yeah. Um, ten minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> now the birth vlog was beautiful. Yeah, yeah so I there's guess. so many. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. That's I all my questions, really. Stephen. Oh, that's all the questions. Well, some we had already answered. Oh, so no, I didn't you did really good them. running the show, Jessica. Oh, thank little... you. Back on to Stephen now. <laughs> to, I, I'm so unorganised. Um, next part of the bit is the reviews, but I haven't actually gone and found any, but I've just quickly jumped onto the YouTube channel. Apologies, guys. I'm so unorganised. <laughs> but when you guys send your reviews on the iTunes podcast, it really does help us out, and you always send such lovely reviews, so thank you so much. Um, we really appreciate it. If you If you do listen on, on iTunes, I think you just... You know, go through there and uh, we'll read them out. Maybe just not this episode because I was totally unorganised. But, but I hey, did. people leave amazing comments on the YouTube video as well. Yes, and if you guys are watching this on the premiere, hello. <laughs> you guys will have to jump into the comments on the premiere. I'll try and not make it too late for you. Oh, have you shoot. watched one of the premieres yet? No, they watch it the next day. You watch yeah, it the yeah, next day. It. Yes, yes, yes. Because we have a bit of a time difference. We watch it in the morning. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But Casey said, I am obsessed with your vlogs and your podcast now, and she is from South Africa. I found your page while planning my first trip with my fiancé to the UK to visit family, but I ended up travelling to Dublin where we got engaged. When I speak to my fiancé about what happened in your podcast or vlogs, I speak about you guys like you're part of our friends group. Aww. So thanks so much for giving such a homely, welcomely, homely, welcoming vibe. <laughs> Thank you for bringing a highlight to my weeks. It's because like we're home... Oh. Home, yes. Yeah, because it's like Sorry. Somebody, somebody <laughs> <Go> on. <laughs> Casey, my mum is going through your comments. <laughs> Fine. Big tooth. Big tooth. English oh. teacher having a go. <laughs> Thank you for bringing a highlight to my weeks. Loads of love South Afri- from South Africa and all the best for 2020. Oh, thank you, Casey. Yeah. Oh, and even this little one, I'll just read this little one out from Vicky. She said, love you guys. Really love that Cleo's joined you on this podcast. And when Jake made a little appearance. Oh, yeah. this one little moment. <laughs> I know a couple of people ask me if Jake's going to come on the podcast, but he's a little camera shy. But if we ever have one of his favourite drinks out, I'm sure he'll pop in just to say hello. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much for being on the episode, guys. We really enjoyed it. I mean, Thanks, this has guys. gone like over an hour. Yeah. I mean, oh went so quick chatting with you guys. But Cleo, yeah. we have something exciting to tell you. Oh. Guess okay. what the next podcast is going to be? What's it going to be? The DNA kits have... Oh, <laughs> yay! You're so excited. Our results yeah. have come in. So a couple of... Well, two months have ago you now. Had a sneaky peek? No, no, no. Oh, good. We went to click on it no, to no, see no, if we no. could download it and this whole fancy movie started. Oh, so we are from this and we quickly... Okay, okay. we didn't see anything. <laughs> so basically a couple of months ago, we took yeah. a... Heritage. Heritage DNA kit. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> and it is going to tell us what our heritage is, which is going to be so interesting. So Stephen, Cleo and I have all taken it. The results are in. So the next podcast, we're going to go through that and see where we are from. Woo-hoo. Yes. Um, I don't know what type of questions you guys could send in for that, but 
<laughs> Please do send some questions. To me. <laughs> but thank you so much for having. Enjoy your flight back to Cairns thank tomorrow. And, and thanks yeah. for spontaneously coming over. It's yeah. been lovely. Yep. Yes. And we can get back in. What um, a new year hopefully, yeah, luckily. <laughs> I know it's a good start to 2021. So yeah. thanks, guys. And yes. now, do you have your singing voices ready? <clears throat> oh, yeah. I hope you know the words. Of course we do. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> okay, let's do this. <laughs> Little podcast by Stephen and Jess. Stephen and Jess. Stories by Find the Best. Little podcast by Stephen and Jess. Stephen and Jess. Stories. Thanks, Mum and Dad. No worries. <laughs> Love it.